so um, I haven't been up to much of anything lately but working. I did pick up a few things though. I've just been sitting here crocheting this um, Summer Blossom crochet along. I'm getting the scallops on. I have 21 of these to do. I think I've done like 12 and um, I have two rounds or two rows left to do on this one. I'll list that below, but there's some rows that are going to go in, like three more rows that go in to connect all of these together. I ordered from Rose, um, Rose's Etsy shop from Rose Likes Crochet. I got some stitch markers. She had um, several kinds on clearance. I'll link her Etsy shop below. I've only got 20 pairs of scissors sitting here. Let's try a pair of scissors. I don't think I could have found a smaller pair though. She always has these really pretty purple organza bags. Alright. So, I am an x-ray tech. I don't know if you read my bio at all, but um, we use, well, I don't anymore. Now I do surgeries. Uh, but when I was doing regular x-rays, we wear little lead markers on our name badges and we have to stick them on each x-ray and they're left or right and they have their our initials on them. And I oftentimes would order um, novelty ones. The ones we normally have are rectangles about two inches by one inch and it has a very uh, one inch long RRL and then it will have our initials below. And I order special ones. And one of the sets that I ordered was C3PO and R2D2, and R2D2 was right because R is right. I, I ordered Darth Vader and um, a Stormtrooper, I think. And Darth Vader was L because we use L more than we use anything because chest x rays are what we do most often, and we always use an L marker on a chest x ray. I also had um, Pac Man and a Ghost. I have, I don't know, I have a bunch of them, and one of the sets that I have is ketchup and fries. And so when I saw these stitch markers on Rose's Etsy shop, and they came in multiple colors, and since purple is the best color, I got purple. So they're french fries, but it's an M. That's one of the stitch markers. And I always like getting hers because she usually makes sure that they're not real heavy, because if you're working with you know, a lighter weight yarn, sometimes it can be a problem. Um, also... I just thought these were cute. She did have purple at one point, but of the colors that were left, I wanted yellow. I don't know if she still has any more. These were ones, these were one of the ones that were on clearance. And I am semi obsessed with bones and skulls. Um, so I did get two different sets of skulls from her. So I got these ones, they're white. And I think I have a, a purple bracelet that my daughter made me that's made out of these same beads, but in purple. And then these ones, I just love the eyes on those. At first, when I first saw it, I thought they were going to be sugar skulls. And sugar skulls are very specific, and it's not typically what I look for. Even when at Halloween, when I'm getting new fabrics or um, new pillows, I think I showed you my pillows, but I tend not to get things that are Halloween related and um, although sugar skulls are not Halloween related they are day of the dead and so it's not something that I uh, typically would get so let me see if I can show you a couple of things so you, you can see those um, there's some more skulls up there and there's one up there that my son got me that's a 3d printed skull and um, spine that one there is usually hanging on my door, but it was tearing the paint off the door, so I stopped. But there's all of my pillows, a bunch of more stuff, and my bone throne. So now that I have thoroughly made everyone dizzy, <laughs> and I am done making everyone dizzy, um, the only other thing that I, the other things that I bought, I make, um, it's a tradition among Jeep drivers, if you drive especially a Wrangler or a Gladiator, to give rubber ducks. And we call it getting ducked. This is what I give instead of a rubber duck. I make a um, resin duck with the Jeep grill. 
kind of hard to see. It's got the Jeep grill in it. And then I also put a skull on it. Most of them have color in it, but I wanted to see what the skull looked like plain. Anyway, I make it into a keychain, and then I attach a card to it, and it's got a picture of my car on it. And a QR code that takes you right to my car's Instagram page. So I was making these for um, Jeep Fest this year, which is in August. And the molds that I use have been used so many times. So I did order um, new molds. I ordered five of these. They're Actually, it's an earring mold. So I ordered five of these so that I can make ten at once. Because after a while, even if you use mold release, your um, your molds just don't work. And it, with the ducks especially, there's some smaller parts to it. And so they tend to break off the smaller parts. This ones that I ordered came with little um, tassels, little leather tassels. And then here's the duck molds. So I got five more duck molds, I think. Yeah, five more duck molds. Ten more skull molds. molds. What I did have was uh, I only had um, four duck molds. My camera's on reverse, I think. I don't know. I had uh, four. I, my eyes look crossed. I had four duck molds or four earring molds and five duck molds. And now I got five new duck molds and ten skull molds. Molds. I can't even English. It's It's been hard. So that's really all I've been up to. I've been trying to just get these crochet links gone, done. I know I, I th I've talked about the sweater that I made my sister. Um, made it a lot of years for her. And she wears it every day. She washes it all the time. And it was um, the Marvelous, Mauve, Marvelous Cardigan. I'll link it below. And she sent me a picture the other day. She tore the elbow out. Now, I did buy yarn last year at Ollie's. And I was thinking of her when I bought it. Let me find it. Okay. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I got these at Ollie's like last year sometime. I don't even know when. They were $4.99 and they're normally $10. It's the Karen Crystal Cakes. So it's red. It has to be red. That's her favorite color. It will have to be red. So this does have a gold sparkle in it though. These are, it's called Claret or Bordeaux. It is a four weight. It's a five millimeter recommended hook. And there are 580 meters, 634 yards. It is a 240 gram cake. Now, when I originally made the sweater, I made it shorter because um, I knew I didn't have enough yarn. I found some narrow yarn, Nero, Naro. I don't know. It was really, really expensive yarn, and I got it on clearance really cheap. And so I made it shorter. I knew I wouldn't have enough. I didn't have much left, but I was able to take what I had left and use it to make lovies for both of her. Uh, granddaughters so they had loveys that match her sweaters i swear to you i don't know what is going on with my eye today anyway so i have four of these so that's 2500 yards i should be able to make the full length duster sweater for her but i will link the uh marvelous marvelous mauve <laughs> marvelous cardigan down below but the other thing i got at walmart they had a couple of different things on clearance, but I wasn't there. This was all that was left. They had two of these, a uh, Bernat blanket yarn. This colorway is mini succulents, but I was thinking about making um, gnomes or um, stuffies with these. I think these would make an interesting stuffy of some kind. Anyway, five bucks. That was cheap. They, I know there were other ones there because they had tags there. I just didn't get to them in time. So I got two of those. And my husband was with me. And as they were sitting on a clearance cart, um, somebody was there stocking them to put them into the clearance aisle. And they didn't even get the chance. I just walked by in the cart and grabbed them and put them in my cart. My husband's like, you didn't even look at the price. I'm like, are you kidding me? I could see that price from five feet away. So that's what I have. That's all I've been up to. I wish I could say I was done with these crochet along blankets, but I am not. Alas, but see you later. Happy crocheting.